Well, sort of along the same line, Dave, speak a little bit, if you would, about <clears throat> factory, unauthorized factory rebuilt controls as it pertains to flame safeguard. And again, we talk about flame safeguard. Mm -hmm. There are controls you can get out there. Some of these older relays especially are not that complicated. So, you know, you get somebody that's a pretty good electronics guy and he can replace a part or piece on there. Mm -hmm. Why is that not a good idea for an end user? Well, typically the reason it's not a good idea is if somebody is buying a rebuilt control, first off, no manufacturer in this business, be it Honeywell or anybody else, is in the business to remanufacture or rebuild their controls. We just don't do that. Well, and, and the, the, reason, we yeah, don't, the reason, reason we don't do that is from the time that that control was originally designed, there may be many engineering revisions that make it a better control five years down the yes. road. And if you're just repairing a control, you don't have those enhancements or those revisions. And that could be a component board, it could be a, uh, it could be a resistor, it could be a relay on that board. Secondly, no manufacturer do they not only rebuild those controls, they don't sell parts. So the only source for parts to repair these controls are other used Controls. Oh, so they're cannibalizing you. So they're cannibalizing control. parts. So they're like taking three old motors and getting one to work. Yes. Um, and so when they buy a rebuilt control, first, it's not of current design. Secondly, it's a used control. Thirdly, is a lot of times the components cannot be found. So they're going to local hardware store oh and buying goodness. off the shelf components, yeah. which aren't tested to the rigorous standards that the original manufacturer intended when it was an approved control. Yes. Yeah. So we've actually had them come back to the factory with uh, springs out of a ballpoint pen. Yeah. So they're not the right length, they're not the right press back pressure. So the other important thing is that the ASME code, which is American Society of Mechanical Engineers, CSD1, expressly prohibits the use of rebuilt controls. So that basically means, you know, again, I'm thinking, you typically see these things, and I shudder to think about this being a father, and you are too. You see this a lot of times in schools because a school purchasing agent, maybe in an effort to save a few dollars, buys these rebuilt controls, mm -hmm. and you start thinking they're flame safety controls right. for a reason because you, you know, they're, these potential these uh, boilers are potential bombs. That's right. And so you're saying that if they don't meet the code, that basically means they're not insured. So if there's an mm -hmm. explosion. Whoever bought this thing to save a few bucks is probably going to be, you know, asking why you did this. If there is an incident associated with a rebuilt control, the total liability rests with the person that sold it and the person that bought it. Yes. Even though it might have the original manufacturer of Honeywell. Right. Honeywell has no liability. Um, the other thing is the manufacturer's names must be removed and they must be clearly identified as by the rebuilder as a rebuilt control. Uh, on inspection, it would be the obligation of the insurance inspector to red tag that boiler until that control was replaced. With that said, the CSD, such as Stromquist, have a written agreement with Honeywell that they will not sell, Absolutely solicit to sell for, inventory, rebuild controls. If they do that, or any of our distributors, if we find them doing that, then they have lost the contract with Honeywell. It's a violation of a written, written agreement. So, so I, so I, th I think the message to our, to our listeners and our viewers is this. If you go to an authorized Honeywell Flame Safeguard distributor, you know you're gonna get an authorized product, right. which means you're protected. You got Honeywell standing behind it. Yes. You're not getting a used, mm -hmm. uh, put together control. You're getting a, a, a valid new control. Mm -hmm. You're protecting yourself from violating insurance uh, laws and, and, and code yourself laws. And you're liability. And you know, if you don't know, hey listen, for the people in our area, you contact Stromquist, a company, we come look at your boiler, we can tell you whether or not you have uh, rebuilt controls on them or not. If you're not in our area, contact your local, local authorized Honeywell Flame Safeguard distributor. If you're not sure who that is, you can go to the Honeywell website yes. and identify them. Yeah, it's customer.honeywell.com. Customer.honeywell.com. And we have our distributor list there as well as technical literature yeah. and cross-reference information should they need that. So I think this is a key piece. I'm glad we covered that, Dave. Thanks for going over that with us. So, you know, a lot of people in the controls industry, they, they voted that Jerry is the most handsome man in the controls industry. Is there any truth to that, in your opinion? I, I have no comment. <laughs> you need to control it or measure it. Stromquist & Company has a control solution for you.